Hello everyone. I have had so many comments and questions on this 118 plate cell. It is, it is by far the most popular video that I have or series of videos and uh, I wanted to, I'm going to get it back out and fire it up again. I have an idea on how to push it up to 30 liters a minute. The design is, uh, is slightly flawed for uh, for that application, but uh, we know we can get 20, a little over 20 out of it, and then it started to have a few problems. Um, but I have an idea, and I want to. I'm going to try that and see if we can get 30 liters a minute out of it. And uh, also, I wanted to open this up to uh, anyone that had um, any experiments that they wanted me to try out with this. Um, any any real good good experiments that uh, won't won't cost me a lot of money. I'd, I'd be willing to uh, to do those but we've got the 118 plate cell there sitting on the shelf and right above here got the power unit and get that back out then the uh, basically that's a one gallon bubbler and down here got the uh, management system I'm going to get that all out and uh, I'll be back with uh, some more videos. Also one other thing I thought I'd try, I picked up this uh, generator here for 35 bucks. It didn't work, picked it up at Home Depot, doesn't work. So they sold it to me for 35 bucks. I'm going to take it apart and configure it for HHO. I get a number of questions from people asking me if I sell these or or how to build these and uh, I don't I don't sell them um, this this unit here I've got just in the generator alone I've got about fifteen hundred dollars just in parts and that, that was with the cheap cheap stainless too But if you wanted to build one of these, I'd be glad to help anyone out. I'd just say go for it. Um, I do have one uh, friend, I guess I could call him a friend, that uh, is in the process of building one of these. And uh, I've actually been uh, working with them and um, giving them some ideas of what I would have done if I were to build this again. So um, he he's building one of these, um, 118 plate, um, 9x9s and he's agreed to uh, make a video and share what what he's done and hopefully uh, the design will improve as far as the way that this is put together I'll just go over it real quick because there's a lot of questions on it what we've got here is it's made to run um, 240 volts AC and that is rectified and turned into DC and fed into the generator um, as far as the way that the generator is, is set up, all you have is one one power connection right here. This this plate is hooked to power, and that's right on the edge, right on the end. And then on the other side, we've got one more power plate that's connected to power. So in this whole stack, you've only got two connections: positive, negative, or negative positive. Doesn't matter. And the rest of these are uh, neutral plates, free floating plates. Um, and they do, every one of these produces uh, hydroxy. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the voltage down below two and a half volts across the whole thing. So if I were to put my voltmeter across any two of these plates, I get around uh, two and a half, two and three quarter volts, somewhere in there. I can't remember exactly how, where this one ran, but and that's the idea. Uh, over here, I had lots of questions on these right here. All this is is I had a bunch of power plates and when I had these made I I, I uh, was doing a bunch of different things so I had a bunch of power plates made basically they're not hooked to anything and they're just they're just neutrals in here and you can see the bolt coming through for the power right here and that's hooked just to the one plate and this this is kinda looks kinda weird but basically it's just a long bolt that goes all the way through there's nothing connected over here but it's connected to power here so I just did that so I could put the uh, power connections, oops, 
power connections on one side, so I've got a positive and negative over here. So I'm just washing it off right now. One of the problems that I thought I would have with this before I ever built it was because uh, this plate size is so big and the generator is so big, I thought I'd have problems with leaking. And uh, I really, I really never, never did, and it really surprised me. Um, what I'm using for the gasket material is just some EPDM rubber, and it's slightly thinner than a sixteenth. Um, if I were to build this again, I would use a little bit bigger than a sixteenth inch gap, um, up all the way up to an eighth. The uh, the the gaskets were extremely tedious and time consuming to cut and I've got these these three quarter notches in them. If I ever were to do this again I would cut the gasket square and leave the plates square and then on the power I just have a little tab coming up off the nine by nine and put a hole through it. So that that I would do different. Uh, that would make it a lot easier to cut the gaskets out. Also, um, on the inlet and outlet holes inside the plate, I used a 3 8 hole. Um, I would, I would, if I was going to do this again, I would put a 5 8 inch hole in there. That way, it would it would flow much better. And that, that's where the problem was. Once we hit 20, 22 liters a minute, we had a, uh, a huge flow problem, and uh, basically it it pumped all the electrolyte out of the uh, out of the cell. What I was saying is this here is a similar plate to what I have in there. This is basically an 8x8 eight eight, so it's a little bit bigger. But this is the exact pattern I have on it. So what I do if I was going to do this again is I make this hole instead of 3 8 I make it a 5 8 inch hole. That's the outlet. This is the inlet. And on these corners, I just keep them square, so you have a complete 8x8, 9x9, 10x10, whatever you're going to do, square plate, and then off the top, we do a little tab coming off with a hole through it, and that's where we connect. That way, you can make your gasket completely square. A lot easier to cut, a lot less time. So now I've got this thing all washed off, washing off the old gunk and uh, all the dust. I'll go ahead and I'm gonna take it in and uh, set everything up. Stay tuned for uh, more upcoming videos of the 118 plate monster hydrogen cell. And we're gonna push uh, hopefully 30 liters a minute out of it. Thanks for watching.